Today on How to Power, we're going to focus on how to power the Aperture Lights, Lightstorm LS300X and Lightstorm C300D Mark II. As you may know, LED lights nowadays can be pretty power hungry if you're running them from onboard battery power. So finding the appropriate, reliable power solution is crucial to make sure they're operating properly. These two Aperture Lights, the C300D Mark II and the LS300X, each have a max power consumption of 350 watts. So, these lights are definitely on the higher range of power and draw ratings. With that said, let's get to some of our most popular power solutions, the Neo Series. We developed the Neo Series knowing full well that these packs would be called upon no longer to just power cameras. The Neos have a powering infrastructure to deliver and sustain higher draws without deterioration to operation and service life. Within the series, we offer the ever popular 98 watt hour Neo 9 Mini and Neo 98 Slim. And if you ever need increased capacity, the 147 watt hour Neo 150. Placing one Neo 150 147 watt hour battery pack on the Aperture C300D Mark II, the light's maximum light output is halved, a protection put in by Aperture. At half output, the light will consistently draw 15 amps or 180 watts from the battery. The light allows for two packs to be mounted, then allowing for 100% output. So when two Neo 150s are connected to the light's control unit, one on each side, the light's maximum light output is full and draws 15 amps on each battery channel in parallel, totaling 30 amps or 360 watts. The Neo Pack starting slash maximum voltage when fully charged is 16.8 VDC. Its peak load output is 15 amps for 10 seconds, with a sustaining load of 12 amps. At full charge, 16.8 volts, the Neo 150 can theoretically support 201 watts, 16.8 volts multiplied by 12 amps. Keep in mind there's an inverse relationship between battery voltage and current draw. As voltage drops through the discharge of the battery pack, the current required increases to maintain the power draw of the light. When the voltage drops to such a level whereas the maximum current load handling, 12 amps, is reached and then exceeded, the battery shuts down and goes into overload protection. The protection feature is digital, and multiple overload shutdowns will not harm the long-term viability of the battery pack. At minimum, you'll receive just over 40 minutes of runtime with two Neo 150 Mini at full output. Keep in mind, in most applications, you will be turning off the light when not in use. So a 41 minute runtime at 100% output could sustain you for far longer if you use the light efficiently. However, if longer operational runtimes on the light is necessary, consider using one of our shark fin battery hot swap plates. These hot swaps will allow you to mount two battery packs on the LS300X and up to four packs on the C300 Mark II, doubling your onboard available power and runtime. Thanks for tuning in, and if you have any further questions about powering these lights or using our power solutions, please contact us at support at coreswx.com or visit us online at coreswx.com.